Hey guys! How's it going? Where, where, where this, is a... this is a yeah. live, this is the first ever live version of this podcast, and uh, we've got Magnus with us this week. How's it hey, going, yo. Magnus? It's it's going it's, it's it's going it's going. Yeah, so it's been a while since we uh, last recorded an episode of this podcast, but we've been trying to do it every week, and it just something's come up. So yeah, we're here it's, today. It's so weird watching this and talking to you guys at the same time. Yeah. 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 But uh, yeah. So. I oh, mean, there's three people. We're gonna be. Uh, maybe live streaming every week. We might have a few that aren't live streamed if there's technical difficulties. But, uh, so yeah. What's first up on the list for today? Uh, predictions. Predictions. I'll bring those up on my phone. There's only three games. Um, so. Yeah, and the the last podcast was so long ago, we won't go back and look at our predictions because I don't even remember what day it was. But a lot has happened since we last did this, so... Oh yeah, uh, by the way, did I mention we're joined by Nick Cage? Uh, people who are listening to this as an audio podcast won't d- understand that. So yeah, let's go! don't say. Nick? The, so, the Nets and the Hawks. Um, well, isn't it 2-0 in the series in favor oh. of the Hawks? Cur- oh, no, it's 1-0, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um... It's in Atlanta. I'd take the Hawks, to be yeah. fair. Yeah, yeah, same. I say Brooklyn wins one game this series. Yeah. Just because uh, of Brooklyn. Lopez. Goes to a fifth game. Yeah. Lopez versus So the Blazers Hawks. or the Grizzlies? Um, Grizzlies? Grizzlies. I, I don't think Portland will win a game on the road. Pro- I mean, I think since the game's in Memphis, I'm going to go with uh, yeah, the Grizzlies. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's an important factor in this um so blazers or grizzlies uh, i gotta say grizzlies <laughs> grizzlies grizzlies all right um though it goes though it goes to six games this year yeah probably uh, okay did he dylan wait yeah oh okay. uh, we thought you were gone again <laughs> <laughs> goodbye everybody spurs or clippers Huh. I don't know. I'm going to say Spurs. I think the Clippers are going to pull off another home game win, but then the next two the Spurs are going to take. I'm going to go with the Spurs. I feel like they're just going to be more animated to play this game for some reason. Because they didn't seem very animated in the last game. Okay. Well, that's it for predictions. All right. What's next? On uh, our playoff list. predictions. Uh... I mean, this was written before the playoffs had started. So, yeah, so I, I guess mean, we can just see... say who we expect to win each series. I expect the Grizzlies to win Golden... I want the Pelicans to win, but I expect Golden State will win. And then, yeah, people. You guys uh, have anything? I think, uh, I, I mean, it would be nice if the Bucks came back, but I think uh, the Bulls are going to win. Yeah. And, um... I think Cleveland is gonna win against yeah. Boston. I hope Boston gets a ga- gets a game on their home court. Just to rub it in Michael's face. Yeah, Michael. Good job, Michael. Um, and uh, I think Atlanta's gonna win. We- I think we already said that. Yeah. And I think Washington is gonna win. Yeah. Yeah. You agree with that, Nick? Um, hold on. I'm getting up the the league stuff and. Um, I would agree with uh, Atlanta winning over Brooklyn, Cleveland over Boston. I don't think the Bucks are going to come back against Chicago, so take Chicago, obviously. Um, and then Washington over Toronto. Yeah. Um, and in the West, Golden State over New Orleans. Unfortunately. Yeah, Houston over Dallas. Yeah. I'm actually going to go. Spurs Cause, over Clippers. Because um, yeah. Chandler Parsons is out for the season. Yeah, and and so is, and Rondo's out indefinitely. Apparently. Yeah, which pretty much I think at this point means he's out for the season. I don't think yeah. he's coming back. And he's out in Dallas too. Yeah, I yeah. Think. 
And uh, I'm gonna take Memphis over San uh, over Portland. Yeah. Yeah, I think I agree with all of that. Yeah. I I mean the only series that like I have no idea about is the Clippers and the Spurs. Like. Yeah. 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 That's just such a brain fluff that. It's so like, toss who you, up. Who do you guys uh, think are gonna make it to to the finals? I think it's gonna be the Grizzlies and the Bucks. Bulls. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Grizzlies versus the Bulls. That would be a pretty good series. Oh, I just realized that the winner of the Portland Memphis series plays Golden State next round. Yeah. yeah. That's why I want the Pelicans to win instead of Golden State. Um What do you think, Nick? Um in the finals, I'm going to go Huh. I'm going to go with the uh I'm gonna go with the Bulls. Yeah. And should I'll we, go... should we do the like the conference finals and then the finals? Like our Yeah, predictions? yeah, that's probably that's a good easy. idea. Yeah. Okay. So do you wanna go again, William, or should we just let Nick finish? Uh let Nick finish for the conference finals. Okay. I'm gonna go Chicago versus Atlanta in the finals. Yeah. In the East. And then in the West, I'm gonna have Golden State versus. Thanks, man. Screw it, Memphis. Oh wait, no, nope, can't play possible. Memphis. Can't play Memphis. So Golden State and uh, screw it. I'll just go generic. They're gonna play Houston. Uh, I think I think in the East it's gonna be the Bulls and the Hawks. Yeah. And then in the West, it's going to be Grizzly versus the Spurs. Ooh, ooh that's, a, that's a risky pick right there. I'm going to say in the East, I'm going to say it'll be Cleveland versus the Hawks. And then I think in the West, it'll probably be... Uh, I really want the, the Grizzlies to make it, but the Warriors are such a hard team to say no to. Yeah, I, I I sort of have to, you know. I'm gonna Chris say right here. I'm gonna say the Spurs make it and the. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, Will. I'm gonna have to go with the Warriors. That's it. I'm done. See you guys. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but uh, yeah, and then in terms of the East, I would probably say say that the Hawks would make it to the finals and then I would probably go with the Spurs. And then in that matchup I think the Spurs would beat the Hawks. But cuz I'm a a cheater. Um so are we done with playoff predictions then? Uh yeah, pretty much. Now we go yeah. to Nick's corner of hate. All right, who do you hate this uh, week, Nick? <laughs> Man, I hate the pl- I hate the play of Toronto. I mean, everyone was going in with high hopes for the Raptors. We and, did uh, all yeah, and, and Washington has just come in to Toronto and just completely, you know, I mean, they kind of came back last night, but they were pretty much out of it in the fourth quarter. Yeah, it's like they they say they're a defensive team, but they let Washington, which is another defensive team, score 117 points on their home court. So, yeah. good job, Toronto. And we to North. Another thing I Winter hate is, is uh, another thing All I hate their is – um, the New Orleans coach saying that uh, Oracle oh, Arena is too loud. We should, we should probably talk about uh, the Thunder firing their coach. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know how you can blame, blame a guy for getting injured. Well, uh, uh, first finish your point about um, the Pelicans coach. Well, you know, he said that, you know, Oracle Arena is, you know, illegal and it's sound capacity or whatever. He said it was illegal? <laughs> yeah, oh he, he actually said it. That's, and, uh, so, that's so bogus. That's and stupid. I just feel that he said that just to, you know, He's... get out of when he gets swept because they're going to get swept. Really? You think that? Yeah, I, mean, I think I think that. I think Anthony Davis makes a buzzer beater in game four to, like, give him one more game, but then they'll be out after that. Yeah, that could be. I just have, I just like, I want at least, 
every team to get one win. I would feel so bad if, like, one team got swept, but that's just because I'm a nice dude. Um, yeah, so in terms of the Thunders, coach... That was so bogus. It's like, okay, you didn't make the playoffs one year, we're firing you. And they, like, yeah. they, they said, like, they said it was about moving forward because, like, they made the finals once and then haven't made it since then. But it's like, the guy's a really good coach, nonetheless. And he's going to get picked up by another team. And I hope he wins a title with that team just to rub it in the Thunder's faces. I, d I don't know how you can blame the reigning MV – how you can blame the coach when the reigning MVP is out for like – what was he out for, like five or four or five months or something like that? <laughs> yeah, like – you know those like commercials where Kevin Durant is saying he can get you like half of your, what is it? Your like your phone bill, like you can cut your phone bill in half when he didn't even play like half a season. Good job, Kevin. Yeah. I applaud you. And like yeah. Sergi Bach was out for like the last like eighteen games, wasn't he, or something yeah, like that? For an, like a whole month, yes. Yeah. Yeah. You they, can't put that on the coach. I sort of got. Uh... In the last month. Yeah. Yeah, they, they really did. Plus, who are they going to hire? Like, who's better than him that is available? Um, The Kings ex-coach that got fired this year. Yeah, but he's not better than him. Yeah, but that's who they're going to hire. Yeah. <laughs> really? Or they'll just promote some, uh, oh, okay. they'll just promote a uh, bench coach or something. Or they'll sign an ex-player to be coach. Yeah. Hey, Kevin, you're not going to play anytime soon. Why don't you, uh, why don't you step up and pull some weight? No, but, uh, yeah, I think that was, I, I, I don't agree with the choice, but again, like, I didn't agree with the Bucks trade of Brandon Knight, but I'm sort of slowly liking it. So maybe, depends on who they hire, I think. You, you know, they're, they're keeping Carter Williams for a few more years than they would have kept Knight, and he's pulled it around, and they... Yeah. And even if they don't advance, I mean, it, it's still an amazing year that they they, <laughs> worse, they and, went from worst to 500 in one yeah. year. They'll be better next year, I hope. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, is that good? Moving on from the NBA? Uh, one more thing. I did I did notice that like there were some people in the Bucks organization. This was just a rumor. I don't think it's actually true, but they said uh, they need – uh, the arena thing set up in the next 10 days. Otherwise, it might not happen. Uh, I don't know if that's actually true. And also, the NBA has confirmed that if the Bucks don't have a new arena by 2017, they will buy the franchise and sell them to somewhere somewhere else. So, like when you NBA. say they, had, like when you say they had a new a uh, a new arena, do you mean like they need to have one in the works, or it needs to be done by then? I, I would assume in the works. No, yeah. no, I mean, I don't know. They want it to be done. They want it to have the contract signed by this fall so they can start constructing it. So I don't really know what that means in terms of deadline. Okay. So, so I guess we're done with NBA now then. Okay, games we play. Oh, the president said, the president of the Bucks said that. Yeah. Okay. So now we're moving on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We can, we can okay. Go now. <laughs> okay. Uh, games we played uh, and games we're looking forward to. So for me, I'm looking forward to Total War Warhammer. Oh, yeah. I heard Smithy of Hat Films was saying it could be the best game of this year. Don't it, know if that's it true or not. Probably won't come out this year because they just released Attila Total War. Oh. Most anticipated game, then. Maybe that's what he said. Anyway, yeah, so I don't know anything about that. Explain it to us. Um, so pretty much the Total War, uh, Creative Assembly, makers of Total War, are going to take uh, the Warhammer franchise and make it into a Total War game with the strategic map and everything in the 3D battles. But now instead of just being humans, there'll be dwarves and humans and orcs and vampires and flying units and cannons and guns and archery all mixed up into one huge game hopefully they don't mess it up didn't you recently like get a game that was similar to this endless something endless legend is that similar or am i just oh, oh you're, okay. you're 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 hallucinating isn't it a strategy <laughs> game though it, it's more like civ 5 though oh oh okay 
Um, uh, Nick, do you want to go next? Games you're looking forward to? Uh, sure. Um, actually, no. Could you go? I I need to still look through and see what games are coming up. Sure. Um, I guess. Two K sixteen. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I play so much 2K that would be obvious, but, um, I mean, I don't know if people know that or not. I play a lot of 2K. Maybe you'll see that now that my Elgato's working. Who knows? Anyway, um, in terms of games I'm looking forward to, it's tech I guess I'm cheating because the game already came out, but I think GTA for the PCA. PCA? PC PCA. Looks really PCA, bunch of... No, but I, I think that looks really good. I think it's better than people expected it to be, and I guess... Th yeah, but um, in terms of games I'm looking forward to, I won't be able to play it, but Halo 5, if I could ever play that, looks pretty cool. And um, I don't know, I'm, I don't really hear about games until like years after they come out. <laughs> That's cheating. I mean, what? That's not true. Nick! Um, I don't know. I don't really have any games that I'm super duper excited for. Um, I guess No Man's Sky, if it looks... I mean, it looks awesome. Is it gonna live up to it? I don't know. Um, Scott, uh, Elder Scrolls Six, yes. <laughs> Fallout Four. Oh, I'm. Oh, Fallout Four. If it gets announced at E3 this year. Yeah. And um. Hopefully, it's I don't not know. Horrible. Maybe thing. Just Cause Three. Oh yeah, that, that's gonna be fun. I heard Just Cause Two is really cool. So what? Yeah. Uh, what is Just Cause about? Is that like a gun, like a third-person shooter? Yeah, but you get yeah. like this grappling hook thing that just lets you pull yourself around. Everywhere. Oh, right. Uh, is it's like I think I've seen scenes of that from Just Cause Two. Like like people like in an airport grappling around, shooting at each other. Yeah. I was. And I think that I think there could be a new Hitman game announced this year. Oh yeah, that that sounds pretty nice. There, uh, Reese, um, does it say we're anywhere on the dock that we should talk about what games we've played? Uh, yeah, same, same now, now. Y yeah, so um, I, I, I guess I'll go first. I played a little bit of uh, H1Z1 this week, which was fun. It's more fun when there's actual other people like online that aren't killing you. Uh, besides that, uh, I played 2K and I built a Minecraft oh. map. Do you want to talk about our 2K stuff that we have going? Or did we already talk about that? Um, I think we already talked about that. We've talked about it before, but have we done anything since when we talked about it? We started the Trailblazers. Uh, we've but... talked about that. Oh, we're rebuilding the Grizzlies. We're starting from scratch, pretty much. And yeah, you might see a 2K15 My League series, probably, yeah. but if not, 2K16 be happy yeah. okay um, so <laughs> <laughs> uh what games have you guys played this week uh for me so far i've just played crusader kings 2 i don't know i played a lot 900 i just looked i have 297 hours played wow yeah <laughs> some of it's where i just like leave the game up and go do something else uh, but yeah I also played a bit of Payday 2, which wasn't as fun as I expected it to be. Just gonna put that out there. Uh, Nick, GTA? Um, actually, no. I've been, uh, I was, uh, I've been playing over the past few days. I've been playing, uh, Infamous Second Son. Which Did I you recently get that? No, he's had it. Yeah, I've had it for, like, since I, since I got the PS4, actually. Mm. And I hadn't touched it in, like, ten months or something like that. That reminds but, me of something I haven't touched into. Anyway, keep going. Don't flatter yourself. <laughs> yeah. But I yeah, it's uh, it's really really fun, and um, I don't know. And maybe I'll play some GTA this weekend. Maybe with you, Dylan. I don't know. Yep. Maybe I can actually get a good mic that doesn't sound horrible. Yeah, so, uh, I think that's done for the gaming section, maybe, William, tell me now! Next is website updates. Uh, yeah, this is pretty simple, uh... Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna completely space out now. No, so pretty much I updated JD's bio, that's the main thing. Uh, let me, I'm gonna actually read it from the doc. Uh, God, where is it? Um... 
uh, JD's bio, there's a podcast page now, there's a video page, which is good, uh, so you can watch all our current videos if I actually remember to update that. There'll be, like, the videos of the week, and, um, there's new information up there, like, every month, so if you want to get updated on all things Whippy Sky Kick, go there, and if you want to listen to these, go there. Otherwise, just subscribe. All right, next up on the list um, would be current series rundown. G T G Mod T F Two Big Dig Bob plays. Yeah, so um, G Mod is just continuous. Yeah, I mean. G yeah G Mod is an easy thing to edit. Uh, if I want to be adventurous, I'd put a bit more effort into it. But yeah, that's fun. That's always good. Uh, TF2, we did a couple rounds of that. I hope we can do some more sometime, uh, because that was okay fun. Uh, I mean, I, d I wouldn't want to do it for long periods of time, because it is literally just click and shoot, but, I mean, those can be fun for a short amount of time. Um, Big Dig, what, those are sort of like, I have a couple episodes, and when I want to edit them, I'll put them up. <laughs> I'm selfish. Um, and what was the last thing? Uh, Bob plays. Bob plays is I think we I think I've explained this before, but it's just a series where I play a game that I have. I actually got a couple more games. I mean, I didn't get them, but I have them from my basement when I went to go get my Elgato that I might do. Uh, Tropico Four, which I think William gave me. Um, yep. And another game William gave me that, which is technically his, but I he's letting me borrow for like the foreseeable Permanent. future until he like is able to play it. Mountain Blade, so. No, I won't want it back. Sad Mountain Blade Warband. Ah, yes. Okay. So, um, yeah. Those are the current series. And uh, in terms of, like, series that may happen, obviously we said NBA stuff uh, and, and anything 2K might happen. Uh, I don't think you guys have anything planned. Um, and then uh, potentially a Skyblock series. Yes. Which I made a map for. And you will, like, record GTA this weekend. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. Uh, GTA might happen. Uh, also, I was wondering, do you guys think that a campaign GTA series would be interesting? Or should I just not bother? Don't bother. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, yeah, other than that, I think that's all of the ideas. Besides maybe Omegle that Brick Cheeks will never upload. All right, yeah. moving on. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, or origins and Whippy Pack update. So, origins scripts are being written as we speak. Not really, but I mean, we have the second episode completely scripted, so expect that this summer. Expect uh, a better quality one than the first one. Yeah, we're actually gonna treat it like an actual type, not TV series, but like high end sort of stuff. We're not putting any money into it, so don't expect 3D oh, stuff um, or anything like that. We bought uh, Minecraft accounts. So technically yay! Money, so. You're welcome, Mojang or Minecraft, My Microsoft. F notch. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, and, and then Whippy Pack. Whippy uh, Pack may or may not happen. I don't know. I put probably that, not. Like, uh, <laughs> if Whippy Pack happens, it'll be just us playing Big Dig, renamed, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, which probably um, won't happen, by the way. Um. I. That's it. So now questions. Questions? Yep. Uh, Where did the channel name come from? Wait, uh, hold on. Before oh. we get into these questions, these are questions sent to us on our website. So if you want to send us questions, go there. Go all the way down to the bottom of the page and type in a comment, and it will send me an email, and then we'll answer them on the podcast. And, yeah, post. please give me us your name if you want to have that in there because that would be nice. I forgot to mention that to people who did that before. <laughs> So I'm sorry that we don't know who you are. And Ryder, what are those other ones? Okay, first, where did the channel name come from? I'll probably be the best one to uh, answer that, because I came up with it. Um, so me and Dylan were making Lego minifigures one at one point to eventually use in our stop motion videos. Yeah. And I made a set of five. My first one was Whippy Skywalker. And then I decided the next one should be named... It was called it Whippy should... Skywalker because we liked Star Wars and he was holding a whip. Yes. <laughs> and then... And then I was like, the next dude should be a sidekick. So I'm like, how about Whippy Skykick? And then I created a YouTube account for Whippy Skywalker. 
Which, by the, the way, from... at the time, I thought Whippy Skykick was the dumbest name I had ever heard, and now it's literally our brand, which, um, yeah. Yeah. And Good so night, I made Whippy Skywalker YouTube channel, forgot everything about it, don't know how to log into it. Yeah. And then... Don't look for it. It's and then we, me and Dylan made a Whippy Skykick channel to upload the meeting of the senators to, and here we are. Yeah, thus we were born. <laughs> um... And I think that's... I mean, yeah, we described... Yeah, so, Shinan. Oh, uh, do you have any... I don't think Nick has anything to say. Mm, no, <laughs> I can't really elaborate on this. Um, and I used to have a picture, actually, of all the characters that we made, their names above it. But it was on my computer that imploded, so we don't have it anymore. Yeah, the computer is dead. Yeah. It okay. died, like Origins. I'm just kidding. Don't freak out. Alright, all right, so the next... Next question is, is, where do your individual names come from? Example, Bob, Ryder, Rick Cheeks, Magnus, Trent, JD. Hold on, are okay. you watching TV, Nick? Uh, no. Oh, okay. For, I, I've been going insane. Alright, <laughs> um... Why? I just thought I heard some sort of weird TV noise, but I just probably just my computer. Um... Okay. Uh, I, you can go first. Explain where your name come from, came from. Um, well, pretty much my Minecraft name was DwarfBob175, and that came from just making a random name on an Xbox, because my friends all had random names, and then, uh, when we were playing Halo one time, uh, we were shortening our names to fit into the little, like, four-letter nickname thing, and I decided to put Bob there, and that just sort of stuck, and well, became... Well, actually, name. we were debating whether doing the first half of our name or the last half. And we decided to do the last half, so that's an important. Yeah, because they were like actual names. Yeah, because I mean, dwarf and fire. That, that's just <laughs> bitten hot flames like a short person. Okay, moving. Uh, next okay. person. I'll go. Um, so Fire Rider Seven Eight Nine was my uh, Wizard One Hundred One account, uh, and then Van Dam came from uh, XCOM. Yeah. You should probably tell say where McBrofixen came from. Oh yeah, so Bob McBroston, McBroston came from a Walking Dead series that I was did. Uh, you can probably check that on our YouTube channel. That and... he never finished, unfortunately. I'm sorry, the Elgato broke. <laughs> yeah, and his name was Joseph McBrostonson, and he's my father. Uh, not really. Uh, Nick. Um. Well, I got Magnus Trent from a uh, M NBA 2K, actually, which Dylan, as you all know, plays pretty a lot. I guess a you could lot. Say. <laughs> yeah. I'm um, addicted. I originally, when I got the game, just used my uh, regular name, but that, di you know, it would just shorten to a nickname. So I was just going through names I could use that sounded cool and would be announced when you scored, and... That's Magnus important. Trent just sort of came to me, and, uh, yeah, it's Some stuck. would say on him. Oh. And, okay. uh, <laughs> and it, No. I feel like Magnus Trent is a lot better of a name than Mojango underscore 45. You know you can change so, that now, yep. right? If you verify oh, your can? account Seriously? on Microsoft. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. I might I have know. to change mine. Yeah, I might change mine to Bob McBrosefson. I changed mine to Ryder Van Dam. Um, are there any okay, other I'll, questions? Uh, we have to explain Brick Cheeks. Oh, right. Okay, so in seventh grade, we were coming up with a bunch of random nicknames. We were like, a Andrew was like, I want to be Butt Cheeks. And then we were like, but I, I how think, would it... I think I was like looking at a brick wall and like made a pun Andrew. about Brick Cheeks. And then he's like, okay. Yes. Yes. Because I, I was like Lord it. Garage Door. I was, uh, I think Fire Rider. I don't know. No. David was dumb dumb, I think. Aqua dumb dumb. Aqua dumb dumb. I don't dumb, remember dumb. what I was. Um, and then that's also where Dr. Professor came from. Yeah. If you don't know about him, I think. Well, he was in the spy movie. I don't know if his name was actually ever said until the credits. So. Yeah. Uh, he what about your brother, Dylan? It's it's his first two initials. That's literally oh, yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it was his Minecraft account that, ironically, I used a lot before, like, I used, 
I was JD Hansen for the longest time. And yeah, goodbye. Um, okay. Are, are there any uh, other questions? Yeah, there's three more. Um, All right. How did we meet? Okay, so I met Dylan in first grade. Yeah, school. Best friend since. I met Andrew at a, a Andrew YMCA. Andrew Brick Cheeks, by the way. Yeah. I met Andrew at a M YMCA basketball in third grade when he moved here from Michigan. And then I met Nick in sixth grade because he followed Andrew and sat down with us. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so That's yeah. So true. So yeah, I met yeah. William uh, in school, and we quickly became friends. I think we originally friends of a friend, and then we became friends because the other because friend we went made to a jail. project together. Uh, that right? Yeah, that was it. Uh, not the jail thing. Um, I didn't lost it, by the way. Did I? Wow. I'm, yeah. I'm just, yeah, you can tell because I forgot about. Um, uh, I met Andrew also in school and. Again, friends of a friend, and uh, yeah, he used to friends. be. We used to be friends. We all used to be friends with that other dude, and then he left us, and now we don't speak about him. He was Asian, <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, and then I guess uh, we were sort of introduced to Nick by Andrew. Because he followed whether Andrew. it was his choice or not. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but no, it, it turned out for the best, and we're all yeah. really good friends now. But but Andrew yeah. doesn't know crap about basketball, so he doesn't get to get all get on this podcast. Who knows? We might yeah. have him as a guest, probably not. Yeah, but if he was here, he'd probably just sit silent the entire time. Yep, that's his yeah. entire Whippy Sky Kid career. <laughs> <laughs> How did you meet us? Meeting Minecraft, anyone? Uh, um, son. well, I guess I should start with the first person I met. I sort of knew Andrew in third grade, but I really got to know him in sixth grade, and. Uh, as William stated, I followed him <laughs> at lunch, and uh, that's how I met uh, William and Dylan. And uh, William actually really didn't like me, to be fair, when we first yeah. met. And uh, you mellowed yeah. out though. Yeah, because yeah. I was like, "Who is this weirdo who followed Andrew here?" <laughs> well, to be truthful, the only person I knew was Dylan, and then over time, I remembered that I'd met Andrew before. Yeah. And I knew David, but not but, that. But um, <laughs> yeah, and yeah, that's about it. I yeah. mean, nice hat. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, uh, is that everything? Nope. There's two more questions. Oh. Why well, did you course. start wanting to make YouTube videos? Um, we made meeting of the senators, and we're like, hey, we should upload this to YouTube. And we're like, okay. Um, yeah. yeah, that's about it for me. Anyway. I, w well, in terms of like starting YouTube, it was mainly because I liked filming things and William had a lot of Legos. So we decided put those things together <laughs> and we made a lot of crap films. And then that's what we should call ourselves. No, uh, too late. And then, no, um, and then we never finished making the Joker uh, six movies. Yeah, we thought we, it was an ambitious project. And we, we took the pictures for the fourth one. Yeah, but no, that but, was, like, really fun, and then later on... It became less fun. Like, like pretty much what happened was we made those for a while, then we stopped, and then we sort of... We were already playing games together, so we decided we've recorded things before. We have a YouTube channel. Put two and two together. You make four, five, and six. Maybe not. Uh, but, okay. yeah, and then... I, I, it, really, the only reason we started doing gaming videos was because uh, Andrew uploaded a Minecraft video to our channel. Yeah, if he hadn't done that, we probably would have stuck with stop we probably, motion. We probably just, yeah, yeah. Thanks a lot, Andrew. You ruined our fan base. Or we would have just stopped doing it. In yeah, it, entirely, yeah. Uh, Nick, do you, was there a reason you did YouTube videos? I cannot elaborate on this because I have zero uploads. Well, I mean, you started doing it when you joined us, pretty much. Yeah. We started talking about it. Is, In it a way. Just, is it the same thing? Like you just enjoy gaming? Yeah, I I, I enjoy gaming. I uh... yeah, it's easy for you guys because you don't have to do any work. Hey, I can't do gaming. Any work. Is I can't work do any work me. either. Gaming is work for me, guys. Andrew's the one you need to complain at, not me. Yeah. Nick. We can't actually yeah. do anything. Well, you can, Ryder, and Magnus oh. can take a popsicle. And uh, okay. 
Uh, I, before I continue to do that offensive uh, tone of voice, um, I'm not going to do There's one last anymore. question. Just, oh. just tell me. Um, I think that pretty much answers the question that you asked, whoever you are. Yeah, okay, so what's the basic plot of Origins? We There isn't one, pretty oh, much. No, I'll, I'll just sort of explain it. So, uh... <laughs> we, throughout the years, came up with this very deep story about, like, Whippy Sky Kick in an alternate universe. And we keep making references in it in videos, and eventually we're like, you realize the, the people watching us have no idea what we're talking about. So we're like, so we should create the story and film it so and explain it to them that way so they know what we're talking about. And we don't sound absolutely insane. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, I mean, it, and also it's just a fun project to do. Yeah. Like yeah. When I like after the first episode, I was like, "Oh god, this is gonna take forever." But once we actually get down to it, it's like we're actually doing something we enjoy, which is important. <laughs> I said that like such like a pretension. <laughs> like, why, like why do you why do you have your uh, life purple Andrew monkey Andrew around your neck? How dare you! <laughs> You'll see that in an episode of Origins. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, Nick doesn't know what we're talking about here either. Yeah. Yeah. So... I'm joining in on the fans. Uh -huh. Um. Yeah. I don't know what this is. Um. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> it's ginger okay. soda. Uh, if you're uh, listening to this, you have no idea what we're talking about. Yeah. I've got a uh Muppet hat on, and I had a purple monkey on, and I punched it, and then I drank some soda. Anyway, any That's... other questions? Nope. All right. So, I mean, <laughs> uh, so should we say our goodbyes and end the episode? Um, yeah. So, well, start us off, Dylan. Or should Nick go first, then you, then me? Cause mine's like the ending one. Yeah, I may as well go first. If it's fine. All right. Sorry, I was totally not paying attention. Go, whoever's going. Oh, so, uh, yeah. This was a uh, this was fun, you know, talking about random stuff and Dylan being able to record it. And uh, ho hopefully, I'll be able to come back in the future. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. You're part of this. You're here now, Nick. But they can't oh. see you, but you're here. That's right, mother. Child. Well, I mean, if they're listening to this, they can't see any of us. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, so thanks for w watching this, and, uh, as always, folks, keep on potting on, uh, geeking on. Gotcha. And have fun! <laughs> Good night!